Welcome to Ari Jam 360 Entertainment News. I'm your host, Electra. For this news feature and more things Ari, download the Ari Jam 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit arijam.com. In today's stories, Reggae Music UNESCO Protected Status, Porsche Documentary in the Making, On Scene Picks of Bob Marley Sell for £35,000, Dalton Faces the Music and Butcher's Countdown to Freedom. UNESCO protected status for reggae music. Undoubtedly, the biggest news for reggae music came this week when it was announced that UNESCO, the world body's cultural and scientific agency, has added the genre that originated in Jamaica to its collection of intangible cultural heritage deemed worthy of protection and promotion. During an interview with the Gleaner, from the Republic of Mauritius, where she traveled from the 13th session of the UNESCO committee, Minister Olivia Babsy Grange described the meeting as emotionally charged. It's an experience that is difficult to explain. I saw people crying when the declaration was made. I just want to say to the people of Jamaica, I don't know if they know how awesome our music and our culture is and how much the world loves our music and culture. Reggae music to play a big role in Porsche documentary. Veteran filmmaker Lenny Little White, who recently began production, says that for this project, he is trying out a new technique. The film is going to speak through music. We're going to use the lyrics of several songs to help her story, he explained. Some artists will physically appear, others you will just hear the music. It's still a documentary, but music will play a major role. Among the featured personalities are former Prime Minister P.J. Patterson, Damien Crawford, Sir Hilary Beckles, and the Prime Minister of Barbados, Mia Motley. On-scene pictures of Bob Marley sell for £35,000. Snapped in July 1975, the black and white images show the reggae legend on stage during his iconic performance at London's Lyceum Theatre as part of his Natty Dread tour. The pictures were taken from the front of the audience by David Crowell, a member of the Sex Pistols entourage who was in the crowd with the band. The performance by Bob Marley is widely acknowledged as being the point he transformed into a mainstream favorite. In reviewing the concert back then, the BBC said the concert was almost exactly the point where both roots, reggae, and Rastafarianism finally entered popular culture, while Rolling Stone magazine wrote that it elevated him from cult act to international icon. The 72 candid photos were bought by an anonymous collector. Paul Fairweather, an auctioneer, stated that such incredible images of Bob Marley rarely come onto the market, especially from such an important period in his musical history. Dalton faces the music this weekend. The X Factor Finals is this weekend, and despite a number of issues facing him, Dalton Harris is staying focused. Here's what we know so far. Once again, the finalists will be performing along with some famous stars. According to the Sun newspaper, Dalton will team up with Emily Sunday on Beneath Your Beautiful. That should be awesome. Meanwhile, the X Factor's 2018 winner single will also be a duet, it's claimed. The three finalists have all recorded songs with some familiar names to be released to download and stream if they win the show. Dalton has recorded a song with 2012 X Factor winner James Arthur. The tabloid reports that is hope that making the winner's single a duet could improve its chart performance. Buju's Countdown to Freedom Eight days from today, incarcerated dancehall artist Buju Banton will get his first real taste of freedom in many years and the demand for live performances from the Grammy award-winning artist is very high. Buju's fans will get to see him on the Long Walk to Freedom tour, which will be his first major trek after his release. Additionally, Sources close to Bujo are reported as saying that one of his first order of business is to put together a new album. The entertainer has already written the project and will begin production almost immediately after his return. And finally, make a child smile this Christmas. Join our Irie Butterfly Foundation toy drive. The deadline for toy submissions is on Friday, December 14. Actual toy giveaways will be on Saturday, December 15 at 24 Hour Fitness, Green Acre Commons, Valley Stream, New York, 11580 from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. To donate, call 718-723-4743. And that's how we wrap up for today. 
Thank you for watching Ari Jam 360 Entertainment News. For this news feature and more things Ari, download the Ari Jam 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit arijam.com. See you soon.